Welcome back to Finance Homefront. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We have an exciting and important topic to discuss. The recent court ruling in the long-standing legal battle between Ripple and the SEC. This decision has significant implications for the cryptocurrency industry, and we're here to break it all down for you. Before we dive in, I want to remind everyone to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and insights on the latest financial news and trends. Your support helps us bring you the content you love, so don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated. Please keep in mind that while we provide in-depth analysis and information, we are not offering financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a professional before making any investment decisions. Now. Let's get started on today's topic. On a recent Wednesday, a court in New York mandated that the financial technology company Ripple pay a fine of $125 million in its legal dispute with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. This civil penalty, although substantial, falls significantly short of the $2 billion initially pursued by the SEC in this prolonged confrontation between the cryptocurrency behemoth and the regulatory body overseeing Wall Street. U.S. District Judge Annalisa Torres rendered the decision, determining that 1,278 transactions were in violation of securities laws, as indicated by the court documents filed on this day. This decision follows the SEC's lawsuit against Ripple initiated in 2020, accusing the company of selling unregistered securities in the form of XRP tokens. Ripple whose founders are the creators of XRP, has been embroiled in a legal struggle with the SEC for several years. However, last year, Ripple achieved a partial victory when a judge ruled that the programmatic sales of XRP to retail investors did not constitute securities. Despite this, the judge also declared that $728 million worth of contracts for institutional sales did indeed amount to unregistered security sales, a ruling that reverberated through the cryptocurrency industry. The SEC has faced consistent criticism from both politicians and the cryptocurrency sector for what many perceive as an overly aggressive stance against the digital asset industry. This latest ruling has been viewed as a triumph for the digital asset ecosystem, offering a measure of relief and validation. Investors in particular have interpreted the outcome as favorable for the cryptocurrency industry, noting that the fine imposed is much smaller than the SEC's original demand. Following the announcement, the price of XRP surged by over 18%. At present, XRP is the only major cryptocurrency experiencing a significant rise, having increased by 16% within 24 hours and is currently trading at 60 cents. Judge Torres in her written opinion stated, there is no question that the recurrent, highly lucrative violation of SEC rules is a serious offense. However, this case does not involve allegations of fraud, misappropriation, or other more culpable conduct. She further noted, the SEC has not established that Ripple's failure to register the institutional sales caused substantial losses or the risk thereof to investors. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, expressed his satisfaction with the outcome on social media, calling it a victory for Ripple, the industry, and the rule of law. He added, the SEC's headwinds against the whole of the XRP community are gone. The origins of this legal dispute date back to December 2020, when the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple Labs Inc., its CEO Brad Garlinghouse, and co-founder Chris Larson. The SEC accused Ripple of raising over $1.3 billion through the sale of XRP in an unregistered securities offering. The core of the SEC's argument was that XRP should be classified as a security and therefore subject to the SEC's regulations. Ripple, on the other hand, maintained that XRP is a currency and not subject to securities laws. In the ensuing legal battle, Ripple's defense team argued that the SEC had failed to provide fair notice that XRP would be considered a security. They pointed to the fact that XRP had been traded on various exchanges for years without any intervention from the SEC. 
Ripple also contended that the SEC's actions were inconsistent with its previous statements and actions regarding other cryptocurrencies, leading to confusion and uncertainty in the industry. The legal proceedings have had significant implications for the broader cryptocurrency market. The initial lawsuit caused a sharp decline in the value of XRP, leading to its delisting from several major cryptocurrency exchanges. However, as the case progressed, there were moments of optimism for Ripple and its supporters, particularly when the court ruled in favor of Ripple on certain key points. One such moment came in July 2021, when Judge Torres ruled that the programmatic sales of XRP to retail investors did not constitute securities. This ruling was seen as a major setback for the SEC, as it undermined one of the central pillars of their case against Ripple. The judge's decision suggested that the manner in which XRP was sold to retail investors did not meet the criteria for an investment contract, as defined by the Howey test, a legal standard used to determine whether a transaction qualifies as an investment contract and thus a security. Despite this partial victory, Ripple still faced significant challenges. The court also ruled that the institutional sales of XRP, which amounted to $728 million, did qualify as unregistered securities offerings. This aspect of the ruling indicated that Ripple had indeed violated securities laws in its dealings with institutional investors, posing a substantial legal and financial risk to the company. The latest ruling, which imposed a $125 million fine on Ripple, represents a significant development in this ongoing saga. While the fine is considerable, it is a far cry from the $2 billion the SEC had originally sought. This disparity highlights the complexity and contentious nature of the case, as well as the challenges the SEC faces in regulating the rapidly evolving cryptocurrency industry. For the cryptocurrency community, the outcome of this case is seen as a pivotal moment. The ruling provides a degree of clarity and precedent regarding the classification and regulation of digital assets. It also underscores the need for a more nuanced and consistent regulatory framework that can accommodate the unique characteristics of cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. The SEC, under the leadership of its current chair, Gary Gensler, has signaled its intention to take a more aggressive stance in regulating the cryptocurrency market. Gensler, a former MIT professor who taught courses on blockchain technology and digital currencies, has emphasized the need for greater investor protection and regulatory oversight in the cryptocurrency space. He has also indicated that he believes many cryptocurrencies, including XRP, should be classified as securities and regulated accordingly. However, the SEC's approach has not been without controversy. Critics argue that the agency's actions have created uncertainty and stifled innovation in the cryptocurrency industry. They contend that the SEC's enforcement actions have often been inconsistent and arbitrary, leading to confusion and fear among investors and companies operating in the space. In the wake of the Ripple ruling, there have been renewed calls for clearer and more comprehensive regulatory guidelines for the cryptocurrency industry. Many industry participants and observers believe that the current regulatory framework is outdated and ill-suited to address the unique challenges and opportunities presented by digital assets. They argue that a more balanced and forward-thinking approach is needed to foster innovation while ensuring adequate investor protection and market integrity. The Ripple case also highlights the global nature of the cryptocurrency market and the challenges of enforcing regulations across different jurisdictions. Ripple has a significant international presence with partnerships and business operations in various countries around the world. The outcome of this case will likely have implications beyond the United States, influencing regulatory approaches and legal frameworks in other countries as well. As the cryptocurrency industry continues to evolve, it is clear that regulatory issues will remain a central and contentious aspect of its development. The Ripple case serves as a reminder of the complexities and challenges involved in navigating this rapidly changing landscape. It also underscores the need for ongoing dialogue and collaboration between regulators, industry participants, 
and other stakeholders to ensure that the regulatory framework keeps pace with technological advancements and market dynamics. In conclusion, the recent court ruling ordering Ripple to pay a $125 million fine in its lawsuit with the SEC marks a significant milestone in the ongoing legal battle between the cryptocurrency company and the regulatory agency. While the fine is substantial, it is far less than the $2 billion originally sought by the SEC, and the ruling has been seen as a positive development for the cryptocurrency industry. The case highlights the challenges and complexities of regulating digital assets and underscores the need for a more consistent and forward-thinking regulatory framework. As the industry continues to grow and evolve, the Ripple case will undoubtedly have lasting implications for the future of cryptocurrency regulation and the broader financial ecosystem. That wraps up our discussion on the recent court ruling in the Ripple versus SEC case. This decision marks a pivotal moment in the cryptocurrency industry, with significant implications for how digital assets are regulated moving forward. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might be interested. Don't forget to subscribe to Finance Homefront and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more insights and analysis on the latest financial news and trends. Remember, the information provided here is for educational and informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.